Big wheels rolling, big wheels rolling, moving on. Big wheels rolling, gotta keep them going. Big wheels rolling, moving on. The white line is the lifeline to a nation. And men like Will and Sonny make it move. seen this little scene before. We're uh, in Warsaw at R&R &R Domley here. We are getting our day started. We had our coffee. We had our oatmeal. Well, we gotta go to Mantoon. Mantuna. Mantoon. M-A-N-T-O-O-N Illinois And if R&R &R Donnelly could have loaded us properly and we didn't have to wait so long I was going to try to drive it there last night and I could have if they could have gotten me loaded quickly, you know but we were there forever, man it was after 1 in the morning and I don't know about you guys, but the, and when I sit like that, I get tired. I, I really do. I get tired. So then when I finally got loaded, I said, heck with it, you know. I said, good night to John. I said, well, but he was a good sport about it. And seriously, guys, he is. He, he's not into this logbook breaking at all. He's a good man to work for. It gets a little excited at times, but don't we all? I think it's a natural thing, right? As a human being, I gotta stop in Plymouth. I gotta get fuel and death. And then we're gonna take 31 South to Indianapolis. Take the loop to 74. And the Champagne to 57 South. And Mantoon is 34 miles from Effingham, north of Effingham. 200 and something miles away. guys we are back in the truck we just got our fuel you know I saw a guy standing right there on the corner and it said homeless I need help I mean really is this economy and is it really so bad that a person cannot get a job I mean really why can't people go get a job why do they have to hold a I'm, I'm not knocking anybody who has to hold a sign saying I need help but I, I, I'm sure if he looked hard enough, Plymouth is just right down the road. And you got fast food, you got McDonald's, you got Wendy's, you got uh, Walmart. You have places up here. I just, it would take a lot. They're making this detour. I don't know why, but they're making this detour. Wonderful. Think that car is going to stop? <laughs> I hope so. Yeah, we're on a detour. They must have some kind of wreck or something up there. I hope they got everything clearly marked. <laughs> They got everybody detour. Just follow the traffic. <laughs> You'll get back on.
for some of you guys that know anything about 31 from South Bend to Indianapolis, you used to have to go through Kokomo. You guys remember Kokomo. Traffic light city. That's what they actually used to call that town. They still do because every every intersection has a traffic light. Well, they actually, this is part of the new 31 here. And this actually takes you all the way around Kokomo. And it's 65 miles an hour. So you no longer have to go through Kokomo. Now, this actually really, literally, uh, made it uh, coming through here a little faster. And a lot safer, too. Less traffic. They also told all them businesses, don't come up here. Because <laughs> this is the third 31 highway. You got business 31. And then they built 31 to go around business 31. And then all the businesses started coming up to the, uh, to the highway. And they started building up there. Now this is the third one. But they told them this time, don't build up here on the highway. We'll put exit ramps so that way you can get off and go into Kokomo if you want to go, you know, do shopping or or anything. But they don't want to put traffic lights up here. That's the purpose for this is to go around all that, you know. And they did the same thing for South Bend. Uh, you don't no longer have to go through South Bend. Lakeville, La Paz actually goes around all that. This makes it really nice. Well, guys, we are loaded here at R and R Donnelly, Manitoulin, Illinois. I told this guy that I had a YouTube channel, and uh, he asked me what the name of it was, and I told him. So. I just want to say, uh, or give him a big shout out. I don't know his name. I, I really don't. I didn't ask him. But, uh, but I, I do want to give R&R uh, &R Donnelly in Warsaw, Warsaw, Manitoulin, uh, a shout out. And just say hi to him. So, we got to go shut my doors. It's dirt, guys. It is dirt. But we're gonna go shut these doors. You guys sit back, man. I gotta. <laughs> Excuse me, guys. Woo. I also gotta slide my can on. <laughs> Hay fever. Can you guys see me? Hi. <laughs> I don't know if you can or not. Oh. Shut these doors. From here, we're gonna go to Effingham. Ah! Excuse me, get something to eat. And then we're gonna head on to uh, Tennessee with this load. I don't know how far I'm gonna get though, because I've been up all day. They actually uh, unloaded me pretty quick. Matter of fact, I'll tell you how quick they unloaded me tonight. Because I had to unload and reload. I took my dogs out. And by the time I took them out and got back to the truck, they had already had me uh, unloaded. Ah! And guess what? I was still sitting in the truck waiting to get unloaded. So they finally come out and uh, excuse me guys. And they asked me why are you still sitting here? <laughs> like, what? I'm waiting to get unloaded. <laughs> You're already unloaded. Really? 
That was quick. I've never been unloaded or loaded that quick in my life. At any R and R dominant. You guys know that to be true. Uh, I just dropped my. Oh well. All right. Well, I guess that's. Ah. That's all right. My hand hit something and knocked it down.
Pooh. 